And how is business today, Mistress Thever? Oh, frenetic. Look, I have a new customer. It is good to see you, my friend. The barley seeds you wanted. They should produce a better harvest than the last. What, just like that? Oh, Ralphie, no, you really are a dear. Well, I'd best be tidying up some of those empty shacks before the pests move in. Keep an eye on the place while I'm out, eh? It seems an age since last we spoke. Not since the prisoner exchange in Doma. And Yotsu. It has been even longer for me, of course, if you count the days I've spent here. The time has only added to the relief I feel seeing you safe and well. Huh. Alizé said much the same thing. I don't think I've ever had such a scolding. But I believe an exchange of news is in order. Come. Tell me of your arrival, and all that came before. I see. But the Exarch and Dalizé told me what they knew of events. But I had stubbornly clung on to the hope that all-out war might yet be avoidable. And poor Tataru. She must be sick with worry. We must endeavor to return as soon as we may. It would be nice to bring her good tidings for a change. But before we bid this world farewell, we must first ensure that it is not rejoined to the source. We must prevent the eighth umbral calamity. Orianger's vision of the future has, I fear, every chance of coming true. By his description, the catalyst for the Calamity was a formless and deadly weapon employed by the Garlean Empire. Which can only mean one thing. Black Rose. Gaius was telling you the truth. When we were on the trail of the Asians, we saw evidence that the gas was being manufactured once more. Gaius was adamant that the project had been scrapped. But so long as there are wars to be waged, there will always be those determined to win by any means. And thus simply destroying the existing stores of Black Rose would do little to alter fate's course. In that sense, our involuntary journey here to the first was something of a boon. Together with the Exarch, we've developed a theory as to how we believe the rejoining will be set in motion. I'm sure Orianger himself will cover the subject in more detail. But I can tell you the process requires that both worlds, the Source and the First, be facing an existential threat. One being Sin Eaters, of course. They are a menace that I would dearly love to remove, and not just to avert a calamity. I may be a stranger to this world, but I will not stand idly by and let innocent people be slaughtered. That is what brought me to the gates of Yulmore. Ignoring its pretensions as a kind of capital city to what remains of the world, it is nonetheless a center of power and authority. If any solutions are to be found, I believe our search should begin there. What say you, old friend? Hungry for another adventure?
And so we take to the road once more. Thank you.